Black Ops 6 is shaping up to be the fastest paced Call of Duty game yet. So in this Omni Movement meta, the last thing you want is a slow connection. Whether it's high ping, packet loss, or packet burst, any of these issues will lead to a frustrating experience in Black Ops 6. That's where we come in. Here at NetDuma, we want every gamer to have a stable, low ping connection. So in this video, we'll show you how the NetDuma R3 gaming router can optimize your connection in Black Ops 6. But before we dive into that, it's worth understanding what's causing you to lag in the first place. There's two main factors that will affect your connection quality. The game server you're connected to and congestion on your own network. We'll show you how to fix both of these using the R3 throughout this video. And if you want to skip directly to the part that addresses the issue you're dealing with, we've added timestamps in the description below. Let's start with the first issue, the game server you're connected to. If you've been playing Call of Duty for a while, or if you're a NetDuma fan, you probably know that Activision has game servers all over the world for Call of Duty. The servers closest to you will give you the best connection. That's because the farther away the server is, the higher your ping will be since your game data has to travel a longer physical distance. But why would you ever connect to a faraway server, especially if they'll make you lag? Well, that's where the matchmaking system comes in. Call of Duty matches you with other players based on three main factors. Your skill level, your location relative to other players, and how long you've been waiting to find a game. When the matchmaking system can't meet all of these factors, it starts making compromises. So, let's say the game is having trouble finding players at your skill level and you've been searching for a game for what the system considers too long. Even though Activision has stated ping is king when it comes to matchmaking, a lot of players would disagree. And from our testing, a case like this would result in the matchmaking system putting you on a less than ideal server with higher ping just to get you into a game faster. So, how do we stop this happening? The answer is the geo filter. It gives you control over which servers you play on and just as importantly, which ones you don't. Let's open up the Geo filter and add your console or PC from the list of devices connected to your R3. If you're on a console, that's all you need to do for setup. If you're on a PC, just select Call of Duty from the games list. Now that your device is added, it's time to adjust the filter radius. The red ring around your location shows the range in which you can connect to Black Ops 6 servers. Any servers outside of that radius will automatically be blocked. But where are the best Black Ops 6 servers located? That's where Ping Heatmap comes in. It shows you everything you need to know about server locations. Just select Black Ops 6 from the drop-down menu and the servers will pop up on the map. The green servers are the ones that will give you the best connection and they're usually the closest to you. So for example, as we're in the UK, the best servers for us will be in Europe. With that information in mind, we can go back to the geo filter and adjust the filter radius to cover where the low ping servers are located. Now, when you search for a game in Black Ops 6, you'll only connect to local, low-ping servers while blocking the farther, high-ping ones. While we're still on the topic of the Geo Filter, there's something else we can do to improve your connection quality. By clicking here and enabling Steady Ping, you can drastically increase the stability of your connection. Steady Ping works by eliminating jitter in your connection. Jitter is when your ping keeps fluctuating slightly, making it harder for your in-game actions to sync up with the game server. With steady ping on, your connection syncs almost perfectly, giving you incredibly responsive and smooth gameplay. If you want to dive deeper into steady ping or learn more about the advanced geo filter settings, check out our ultimate geo filter guide video. It's linked in the description below. Now that you're only playing on low ping servers with a stabilized connection, the only thing left that can slow you down is congestion on your network. You've probably been here before. You sit down to play some Call of Duty after a long day and everything's going smoothly. But as more people and devices hop on the network, your ping starts spiking, the dreaded packet loss icon shows up, and suddenly, your KD starts to tank. Yeah, we've all been there, but we have the solution. Smart Boost. No matter who's online, whether they're streaming 4K video while scrolling on TikTok or downloading large files, nothing will slow your gaming down once Smart Boost is set up. Setting up Smart Boost couldn't be easier. Just make sure gaming is on your priority list and move it to the top slot. It should already be there from the initial R3 setup, but if it's not, you can just click Add, and under the Groups category, you'll find Gaming. Now that gaming is the top priority on your network, Black Ops 6 will always get the bandwidth it needs for smooth gameplay. This means your gaming traffic will always go first, stopping larger activities like 4K streaming from slowing you down. It also keeps things like file downloads from taking up bandwidth meant for gaming. And there you have it. Both of the main causes of lag are completely eliminated. If you're interested in getting your hands on the R3 gaming router and its powerful features, check out our website. We'll link it in the description of this video. We hope this video helped you get the most out of your connection in Black Ops 6. If you have any more questions about improving your Black Ops 6 connection, drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.
Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.